we are at the Kruprem rooftop and we want to talk about sustainable advertising and responsible media, uh, something that I'm personally quite passionate about. And uh, with quick intro, I run the commercial side of InMobi ads, so like an in-app SSP, uh, something that we've talked about over the last maybe seven years has been like how to do the right thing for the client. And one of those things is to be responsible in any and every way. So I'm really excited about this conversation. Uh, love to you know, do a quick intro and then love to get into the conversation. Sure. I'm Sargi Mann. I oversee performance and global activation for Group M Nexus. And I'm Matt Bourne. I'm the Director of Communications at the Advertising Association, also Adnet Zero. Um, most recently, co-author of a, a book called Sustainable Advertising with um, Seb Munden. It's great. Um, we work with Adnet Zero. A lot of um, <laughs> good work there, honestly needed for so long. Um, Sargi, if you don't mind, I want to start with you. I think a lot of people have heard, but I would like to sort of remind everybody about the five pillars uh, that you guys have set up. I personally think it should be for the industry, not just for Group M, but I would love to start with yeah. that. So the five pillars of our responsible investment framework are brand suitability and uh, verification, data ethics, making sure that the data we are using is responsibly garnered, permission-based and transparent. Yep. Um, Diversity, equity, and inclusion, making sure all the inventory source, the partners that we are working with have that as a premise on the supply chain as well. Uh, responsible journalism, while well, making sure that we are making sure our brands are safeguarded against some topics, but not at the cost of journalism and right. the valuable voices. Um, and finally, sustainability, the media decarbonization efforts that we've been working with. Thanks. This is why I think this should be like an industry thing, not just a group M thing, because those really do cover the spectrum of what should be responsible media. Um, I came into this industry from the banking world, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing. This was early days of programmatic, like eight, nine years ago. But even then, we started talking about these things, but it's taken us eight years, right? And we, here we are. I feel like we finally have sort of caught onto that momentum. So if you don't mind, I want to Matt, with you, start going to each of these. How, what's your take on it, Ansargi? What, what have you seen change in each of those five areas? Of course. Um, uh, yeah. Well, I would start, actually, if you don't mind, by sort of taking a step back. So yeah. the, at the Advertising Association, we talk about responsible advertising. Yeah. Right, and it's contribution uh, to society as well as the economy. And so the responsible media framework, we're big fans, because essentially it's, you know, it's a core part. When you think about a responsible contribution that advertising makes, it's a, it, how and where you put your media spend is an incredibly important part of that. And the responsibility that you have 100%. with the way in which you choose to fund. And you know, it, for us, responsible advertising, the, 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 the mission, if you like, on behalf of our members mm -hmm. is, is, is advertising that's trusted, advertising that's inclusive, yep. and advertising that is sustainable. And, I, and, and you can really see in, in your responsible media framework how, yeah, if you achieve those five pillars, mm -hmm. you're making as part of the ecosystem a genuine contribution to a more responsible way of advertising being deployed. Yeah, I think it, for us, you know, when we say advertising needs to work better for people, and yeah. that's for everyone. And inherently to do that in the operating environment we are in today, responsible investment framework is the way forward. It is the new currency forward because to do advertising better, to help clients deliver business outcomes, we have to operationalize the right things and we have to be able to not just put frameworks in, but we have to be able to optimize. We have to be able to buy on them. We have to be able to report on them and it has to be a reflection of the marketplace that we are in, of the society that we are in. So equity and inclusion, which again was one yeah. of the pillars, is all of these are equally important. And that's why I said it's no one that is better than the other or more important, but how do we navigate all of these important topics while also delivering the business outcomes? So to build on your, your point about uh, our president, Alessandra Bellini, right, previously you know, chief customer officer at Tesco, right. she actually sort of challenges the notion of collaboration on this issue. She talks about interdependence, mm -hmm. right? As an advertiser, I am dependent on my media supply chain to decarbonize. Mm -hmm. In the same way that the agency is dependent on the advertiser to decarbonize that product or service that you're asking them to sell. And the more we 
depend on each other mm -hmm. and recognize that and encourage each other to make progress, the more we all benefit. So the collaboration implies that we, you've got a choice mm -hmm. to take part. Yep. Interdependence, I'm dependent on you making progress just like you're dependent on me making progress. And together we'll get there. And that's really kind of, I think, where, where we're at now, particularly on, on the issues around things like sustainability. I'm going to walk away way more excited okay. than I've been the last three days here in Cannes because I feel like we need to have more of these conversations, but also I think more people need to hear from people like you who are putting their, you know, their effort and time and energy behind what they're saying, and that, that's important. Thank you. This Thank you. This has been great. Thank, Thank you. you.